No, but that was very cool, Terry. I had no idea that you sang like that. You know, Taylor I makes records a, on his own, yeah, too. Yeah, I make records, know? but one of my heroes when I was a kid was Roger Taylor from Queen. And I always thought it was cool because he always sang a song on the record. He had the highest voice kind yeah. of in the band. And he just, you know, had a big drum set. I said, oh, he's cool. I want to be like him. So yeah. and he, made, he made records. He sang. He did all that. So but what about... What, Day when he was, you know, oh, when I behind played, a drum. Oh, I'm telling he, you, the first, he wasn't your hero. I mean, you he guys. was. No, he was. I mean, that, you got to remember that was such a great time. La, 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 that was one of the la, last few la, great la, times la, in la, of la. rock and roll drumming, where it's yeah. really. I mean, there's still great stuff now, but like it was like in the top ten, and so you could hear Jimmy Chamberlain from Smashing Pumpkins, you could hear Matt Cameron from Soundgarden, you could hear Dave Grohl from Nirvana, like in the same top. Five, like at one time, that's amazing. So there were so many good guys. He was definitely. It was a one good of them. time for drummers. Greatest for sure. drummer of all time. Dave Grohl, of course. Da greatest drummer of all time. <laughs> Taylor Hawkins, of course. <laughs> Like these, time, time. 